Hello friends, I am Sanjay Gupta. In this video, I am going to discuss about column span and row spans used in tables. Before starting, you can note name of my Android app that is TacMS. You can download it to learn programming. So first I am going to explain column span. So if you want to divide a column, a single column into multiple columns, then you can use attribute call span. So you can see that in this example, there are two TR tags that represents table row. In first table row, table heading name and telephone number is uh, available. So telephone column span is two. It means telephone heading will be further divided into two columns. So there will be total three columns, one for name and two for telephone numbers. So you can see that in second TR table row, three times table data is available. So uh, through this way, you can divide a single column into multiple columns. Next is row span. So here three times table row tag is used in first table row table heading name is available then its data will be available then in second table row table heading is further divided into two rows using row span so first value is available within this table row and second value is available in another table row so now i am going to demonstrate you how uh, table row sorry how column span and row span will be appeared after we execute a code written in HTML. So this is the code. In this code, this is internal CSS, which is defining border and border collapse property for table TH and TD. Then for table heading and table data, padding and text align is available. So these CSS will be working as internal CSS and these uh, CSS will be applied for two tables which are implemented in this code one for column span and one table for row span so this is first table in this table first table row is uh, containing two table headings in which second table heading is span which is two that's why second table row will be containing three times table data then this is second table here table row is containing table heading along with table data then second table row is containing table heading in which attribute row span is used and it will divide this row in two parts so first data is available in this table row and second table data is available in another table row so now i am saving this code this code is saved with table.html so i am opening my html folder in which table.html file is available so i am going to double click it it is open now you can see that first table represents column span so here telephone and then phone number this column is divided into two parts so in first row column is single but in second row column is divided into two parts then in second row Telephone row is further divided into two parts. So with the help of call span, you can divide a column into two or more parts. Uh, with the help of row span, you can divide a row into two or more parts. So you can implement these HTML codes in your systems so that you can also implement row span and column span properties of table and you can understand how you can use uh, these kind of tables in your web pages. Thank you for watching this video.